11 Scientific Facts About Cheating Number 11. You're more likely to cheat in the afternoon. Ethnic researchers of Harvard University conducted a morality test that puts 274 adults through four trials during different times in the day. They found that their volunteers had a higher level of self-control and moral consciousness in the daytime, and were likely to participate in unethical behavior including cheating during the afternoon. Also known as the morning morality effect, the results show that our willpower is a delicate mental state that decreases the more you use it or as the day goes on. In the end, it turns out our morality is like dieting. It's easier to do the right thing at the start of the day, so when it comes to decision making, like cheating, consider the best time of day to make a moral choice on whether or not you want to follow through with that decision. Number 10. Women in ovulation desire other people. According to a 2011 research report on psychologytoday.com, scientists have learned that women who were two weeks into ovulation had an inclination in the desire for another person other than their partner. Three researchers studied women who did not take birth control and examined their monthly patterns of sexual longing for someone else other than their current mate as they entered ovulation. However, after the women stopped ovulating, the women's feelings of fantasizing desires stopped. Scientists at the University of St. Andrews and St. Aberdeen also discovered that women with low progesterone before ovulation are more likely to have adulterous affairs. But when a woman's progesterone levels are increased during the second half of her cycle, she is likely to stay committed to her partner. Number 9. Cheating men may be more likely to get heart attacks. In a 2012 study, researchers have found that extramarital affairs outside of the home were linked with a higher risk of cardiovascular risk, including fatal heart attacks. Possible reasons for the correlation could include stress to keep the relationship a secret, a guilty conscience, and keeping up with the demands of the affair. Back in January 2012, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention examined post-mortem records of 5,559 people who died suddenly from heart complications. They found that 75% of those individuals who died during sex were having extramarital sex. It's suspected that a secret sexual relationship in unfamiliar settings with a secret lover can induce a higher heart rate and increased blood pressure resulting in increased oxygen demand. Number 8. Men and Women See Cheating Differently Cheating on a loved one can have serious consequences, which can even end the relationship. However, how we define cheating varies from person to person, and men and women have different opinions on what constitutes cheating. Adultery at one point was just considered a physical act, but in today's society, emotional attachments to other people is seen as infidelity. Emotional cheating, whether it involves sex or not, is having a meaningful relationship with someone other than your mate. Researchers found that men were distressed at the thought of their partners enjoying sex with another person, while women were more concerned about their spouses being emotionally involved with another person than physically intimate. With these research results, it ultimately comes down to having respect for your partner and being aware of what actions define actual cheating. Number 7. Men usually cheat with women they know Intimacy expert Mary Jo Rapini states that a lot of women think cheating women are promiscuous, which isn't true. Often men will cheat with someone they know like a childhood friend, co-worker, or business partner because of a closer connection. And these relationships usually begin as friendships first and start to grow over time. According to an article on FocusOnTheFamily.com, a study conducted from 1991 to 2000 discovered that 62% of men treated by psychologist Shirley Glass were involved in an affair with someone from work. She advises that people in relationships should draw boundaries on what is appropriate and what isn't when it comes to friends, work, and other activities to protect their union. Number 6. Women cheat when they feel undervalued. According to mental health counselor Stacy Brown, one of the biggest factors of women having an affair is when she feels unappreciated and unhappy in her current relationship. While this can mean different things for people, generally if a woman feels ignored or dismissed by her mate, then she tends to open up herself to other options. Usually cheating happens with the first person who comes into their lives to fill the empty void. If she is feeling alone and disconnected in her relationship, and then someone else comes along and expresses interest, then she is likely to cheat. During this time, they may also experience stress or have low self-esteem, and may fish for validation through sexual or romantic activity. Number 5. Social media extends cheating opportunities With social networking sites becoming an integral part of our everyday lives, it's no surprise that social media has added immense pressure in relationships. 
Social psychology professor Benjamin Carney from the University of California said people who are willing to cheat would turn to social media as an opportunity to engage in love affairs. Experts say social media sites add fuel to the fire, and sometimes people compare their relationships negatively to relationships they see on Facebook. But people only post the good stuff, so there's a blurred line of what's happening in reality. Number four, fake orgasms could lead to cheating. A 2013 study found that women who faked orgasms were more likely to cheat in their relationship. Researchers studied 138 females in romantic partnerships and learned that infidelity was linked to the number of faked orgasms she had. Dr. Justin Lay Miller, who examined the results, claimed that the more orgasms she faked, the chances of the likelihood of cheating again increased. Reasons for faking intimacy could include dissatisfaction, poor communication, and the inability to. He believed that women who were sexually satisfied in their relationships were content and reported that their mates were invested in the relationship. Number 3. Men get friskier with their wives when infidelity begins. If you notice a change in your partner's sex drive, this should raise an eyebrow. Intimacy expert Mary Jo Rapini states that when a guy starts to enter an adulterous affair, he may start to become sexually hyperactive. It usually means that his sex drive has been turned on, and his current partner is still the one he feels most comfortable with and will display this behavior when they are intimate. She advises to keep an eye out for these signs. If you notice that he's aggressive or different, keep a lookout. Also, be on your toes for his behavior afterward, like a light switch going on and off. After the infidelity is solid, he might start to pull away and isolate himself. Number 2. Higher level of hormones could encourage cheating. Back in 2015, Harvard University and the University of Texas conducted a study on 117 people in which U.S. researchers discovered that higher levels of cortisol and testosterone encouraged unethical behavior, including cheating. Cortisol is responsible for our flight or fight response during times of high stress, while testosterone determines our sex drive and muscle development in men. They found that participants with higher levels of cortisol have more reason to cheat due to higher stress levels. This hormone is linked to a solid state of constant stress that can be incredibly draining. Meanwhile, elevated levels of testosterone minimize the fear of punishment while heightening sensitivity to reward. After the study, Professor Josephs and his group believe that the exact cause of cheating may be more chemical than anything else. What do you think? Number 1. Who Cheats More? Researchers from an Indiana university surveyed 900 participants and discovered that men and women cheat at the same rate. However, relationship expert Charles Orlando states the reasons for cheating are completely different. He explains that online affairs, despite no physical contact, is the most damaging type of infidelity because being emotionally attached to another person indicates you've checked out of your marriage. But when it comes to physical contact, it's less about the connection and more about a serious regret. Although, this doesn't excuse cheating and it's more about sexual beliefs, implications, previous problems, and communication that need to be addressed in the relationship prior and how to handle it if your mate cheats. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. 11 Scientific Facts About Cheating Number 11. You're more likely to cheat in the afternoon. Ethic researchers of Harvard University conducted a morality test that puts 274 adults through four trials during different times in the day. They found that their volunteers had a higher level of self-control and moral consciousness in the daytime, and were likely to participate in unethical behavior including cheating during the afternoon. Also known as the morning morality effect, the results show that our willpower is a delicate mental state that decreases the more you use it or as the day goes on. In the end, it turns out our morality is like dieting. It's easier to do the right thing at the start of the day, so when it comes to decision making, like cheating, consider the best time of day to make a moral choice on whether or not you want to follow through with that decision. Number 10. Women in ovulation desire other people. According to a 2011 research report on psychologytoday.com, scientists have learned that women who were two weeks into ovulation had an inclination in the desire for another person other than their partner. Three researchers studied women who did not take birth control and examined their monthly patterns of sexual longing for someone else other than their current mate as they entered ovulation. However, after the women stopped ovulating, the women's feelings of fantasizing desires stopped. Scientists at the University of St. Andrews and St. Aberdeen also discovered that women with low progesterone before ovulation are more likely to have adulterous affairs. But when a woman's progesterone levels are increased during the second half of her cycle, she is likely to stay committed to her partner. 
Number 9. Cheating men may be more likely to get heart attacks. In a 2012 study, researchers have found that extramarital affairs outside of the home were linked with the higher risk of cardiovascular risk, including fatal heart attacks. Possible reasons for the correlation could include stress to keep the relationship a secret, a guilty conscience, and keeping up with the demands of the affair. Back in January 2012, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention examined post-mortem records of 5,559 people who died suddenly from heart complications. They found that 75% of those individuals who died during sex were having extramarital sex. It's suspected that a secret sexual relationship in unfamiliar settings with a secret lover can induce a higher heart rate and increased blood pressure resulting in increased oxygen demand. Number 8. Men and Women See Cheating Differently Cheating on a loved one can have serious consequences, which can